Hello, w- welcome to Dungeon Rollers Podcast, where we're doing a special double feature review. We're reviewing the Bad News Bears, uh, a Michael Ritchie movie starring Walter Mauthau, uh Jackie Earl Haley, and just give me a sec, and uh, Tatum O'Neill. This is a 1976 sports comedy movie. It's an hour and 42 minutes. Its screenplay was written by Bill Lancaster, and it's a PG-13 movie because it has lots of uh, swearing, some sexual references, and uh, a lot of politically incorrect stuff in the movie where you have like a little kid uh, use racial slurs. (laughs) Which no way you would get uh, have that that stuff in a modern movie. <laughs> Which yeah, th- this movie this was the first time I watched this movie. I watched the remake, the 2005 remake when I was like a kid, uh, which you know, starred Bill Balfour and directed by Richard Linklater, which I didn't know until I uh, googled it this morning. Which you know like. Which, it makes sense, because, you know, Richard Linklater is, like, uh, was, like, um, I think, I think he was, like, a big baseball player in high school. I don't know if he ever did anything out, outside of high, high school baseball, but, you know, people say he was, like, a big uh, baseball player in high school. So it makes sense, you know, that he would want to, you know, direct... Uh, baseball movie, which we're not reviewing that. It's been like decades since I saw that movie, so I can't even tell you uh, if I would like it nowadays. But like, uh, yeah, I watched this movie, and it, you know, it was pretty good. Not, I don't know if it's as like I said, I don't know if it's as good as uh, the Billy Bob Thorne movie. But I enjoyed this movie. You had Walter Matthau playing this ex-professional baseball player who's bit of a drunk you know he's he has an estranged daughter um ex not ex-wife because they were never married but you know he's like separate with his uh, baby mama uh he he gets like he gets hired to uh play sorry not play uh coach a baseball team named the bad news bears who were were so bad they wouldn't even be allowed they weren't even allowed to play the the team owner had to sue the get to, sue the get them uh, to play right. So the team is a uh, it's a very a strange team because you have like um, you have this mixed mat- match of characters like you have a fat kid you have who's constantly eating chocolate very ba- uh, very uh, foul mouth has a bad temper. <laughs> uh, you have like the nerdy kid you got. A couple, actually, you have a couple nerdy kids. You got um, two uh, Mexican uh, kids who don't don't speak a lick of English in the movie, <laughs> and you also have a a Muslim black kid. Like you know, at one point, you know, he he's thinking of quitting the team, and the main, the Walter Mountain has to like talk him out of it, and like he's like, "You honky motherfucker!" He's like, "Don't bring race into this." <laughs> Yeah, he gets um, hired to coach this team. They uh, he he gets really drunk. They they don't practice and they they lose their first game really bad. Like they they lost like 20, 20 to nothing, and to the point where the owner wants to like uh, disband the team A- after like you know. After seeing the disappointment in everybody's faces, our coach decides to take things seriously and starts uh, coaching the team. He he, t- he takes uh, practice seriously, and they they lose their second game, <laughs> but not as bad as their first game. So he goes to uh, he decides to recruit p- uh, players. The first uh, player he recruits is his daughter, who he taught taught her how to pitch. The, the second member of the team is uh, the bad boy of the team, Kelly Leak, which is played by Jackie Earl Haley, who at one point in the movie, what he, which he's constantly, despite being like, what, 12 or, in the movie or something, 
constantly smoking. He drives a Harley, a Harley Davidson. At one point, um, uh, members of the baseball team crash crashes uh, uh, Amanda Amanda the pitcher's like ballet lessons, and they start hitting on the girls. And he goes, he goes to one girl. He's like, um, who's like, I think she's an adult woman. I don't, I don't know. Uh, and like tells her, hey, I drive a. I ride a uh, Harley Davidson. Does that does that tur turn you on, a Harley Davidson? <laughs> it's like, wow, com like completely uh, inappropriate. Um, yeah. So like, once they get um, the new players, they they have a winning montage. But then their their cert uh, drama starts on the team uh, when like they have the um, they start playing to win, and the 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 whole point of the team was to. Get, Make sure every kid gets to play, but like you, you have uh, Walter Mothouse character telling, um, not letting the one kid pitch anymore because he he sucks, and you have like um, Kelly Lake is like the out, what, what's it called, the outfielder, so like he starts catching all the balls, right, which you know, pisses off other members of the teams, but they are able to get into the finals with their rival team, the. The Yankees, right? Who who is the coach and the f who's the coach, but and also has like um, a, a, a son in the team who's like their major pitcher, and there's like um, some drama where like you know he t he tells them like you know the do some like dirty uh, d dirty tricks, and then like he he screws up and like he just hits him. <laughs> in front of everybody, right? And like almost like, and the kid almost cost them the game, which like they had in the remake as well, right? So they, you have some drama there. Um, after seeing that, Walter Monhal decides, you know, let's not take this is a game for children. Let's not take this too seriously, and he decides to let everybody play, even the bad kids, right? So the movie. Not, I thought it was pretty funny. You have like scenes in the beginning where the, where the, where you see Malt, Walter Matthau drunk drive, which was pretty common, <laughs> uh, pretty common for people to like uh, drink and drive. Like you even had that in the John Carpenter's The Fog, which I was going to review, which I did review, but I can't post the review for, uh, for uh, reasons. Why well, I make. For reasons, I made a I made a joke, <laughs> which I which could get me in trouble with YouTube, so I could I couldn't post the review, but some but maybe one day, right? So yeah, after that he decides to let everybody play, and you know they lose, but they said they, they were like, uh oh, screw it, you know. But everybody got to play, we had fun, you know. He gives all the kids beer, <laughs> real beer. I thought he was going to give them like non-alcoholic beer, because that's what. Uh, Billy Bob Ford and did in the uh, remake, but no, he just gives them all beer. But like, there's a funny scene where like the the kids, the kids on the other team get have uh, their trophy, and then like the other kids, uh, the Bad News Bears all have beer. So that they're, they're just like, we don't give a fuck. You get a trophy, we're drinking beer, motherfucker. <laughs> uh, who's the real winners here? <laughs> Yeah, so like the movie ends but on kind of like a high note. Uh, I would say the move, despite Billy being politically incorrect, there is some like leftist stuff in the movie. But it wasn't it wasn't too bad, you know. I wouldn't like it. Kind of had this like kind of I would say like you know progressive like you know. Yeah, the movie kind of has this pussy attitude <laughs> where, like, you know, uh, where it's like, oh, it's not about winning, it's about, you know, let, letting all the kids play and stuff, which, you know, I, I don't know if I agree with that, because, you know, it's that kind of shit where, like, you know, where they, they, they take, you have, like, schools nowadays take that to the, the extreme and like you know they don't fail kids in class anymore they don't have like you know a like um they don't have the the ratings you know there's no there's no like um 
Ah, fuck. Ah, <laughs> uh, this is my third take. Whatever. I like the movie. I'm giving it like a 6.5 out of 10. I don't know. I, I don't know. It's the thing where this is a, supposed to be a kid's movie, but it, it's not... This isn't something you should have, like, a, a little kid watch, obviously. Because, you know, there's a lot of swearing. And, like, you know, kids tend to, like, you know, repeat things they hear. So, yeah, if I if you're, like, um, a father or, like, you know, mother. If you're a parent, I wouldn't, ha I wouldn't have your kids watch this movie. Wait till they're teenagers or something. But, yeah, I would say the movie, you know, it was enjoyable. I was entertained throughout throughout the movie. Like the the character, there were some sweet moments where like you had a kid who was like bullying the other kid for being so shitty. Where like um, where the, they're hanging out and like uh, um, the other kid gets bullied and like you know the, he went to defend him. So that was you know that there are sweet moments like that throughout the movie. I I really enjoyed it. You know what? Fuck the uh, fuck the six point five. I'm giving it a seven out of ten. All right, so later on, we're going to review uh, the Paul Newman hockey movie, Slapshot. Really looking forward to that one. All right, see you later. Peace.